Hey guys, welcome back. Some of you guys have been asking me about this uh, adapter I made for the 5R110. So here it is. Um, and it's made out of 4340 alloy. Uh, so that's the first half of the adapter that goes on to the Detroit crank or the flywheel. And then this is the crank adapter off the 6.4 and I just bolted on with the 6.4 crank bolts <coughs> and torque them down to 130 foot-pounds and that's uh, that's how that's done alright there's the 6.4 adapter torqued onto mine and then it uh, accepts the flex plate and uh, whatnot for the 5R1. This is turned as one unit, so it runs true. Okay, here it is with the uh, 6.4 flex plate put on. And it's basically ready to uh, install the transmission now. Uh, 6.4 comes with two balance weights on the flex plate. You can see the sweat marks or the heat marks where they're welded. So I just uh, ground those weights off. And there's the uh, the 5R110 with the homemade uh, number two flywheel housing adapter. And it's made out of quarter inch plate steel times two and weld it together. And uh, that works well. But anyway, it's almost on. It fits in like a glove, really. You can see the torque converter is all lined up and went in the pilot hole. And So now all I've got to do is torque it all up and torque the uh, torque converter uh, under the flex plate and that's the transmission hooked up. Torque converter is all torqued down to the flex plate. So all all the items like I mentioned are they're all handmade. So it took a lot of hours to do that but it was uh, it was worth it. Somewhere I have a ZF6. Oh, there we go. There's a ZF6. Uh, needs a rebuild, but it's uh, it's a good core. So in case the uh, 5R110 didn't uh, shift well, I was going to put the ZF6 in it. But uh, the 5R110 is shifting really nice, thanks to HP tuners. And there's soft. thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for further updates on this. Uh, build. Thanks a lot and take care.